Aquarius, welcome into my channel, Ascension Tarot with Alana. I hope you guys are doing great today. I'm going to be looking at you and the person on your mind, Aquarius, so let's get into it. All right, I'm going to be pulling uh, from the Messages of Love Oracle deck, as you can see. Okay, so you guys, I hope you guys are doing great. All right, what do we got here? Okay, for you guys, my beautiful Aquarius, I've got gossip. Okay, gossip. Afraid of what other people can uh, might think, okay? We've got ego. Disagreements. And unworthy. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, this person or you, okay, um, seems like this is possibly a, a newer, a newer connection, okay? Um, uh, already established, but in the earlier phases, I would say, Aquarius. Um, yeah, you could be still wondering, all right, what other people will think of this connection or of this person, Aquarius. Um, with ego here, um, somebody may let pride get in the way, okay? And also when we um, concern ourselves with other people's opinions, that is a form of pride. Um, you know, with disagreements here, um, you guys could be wondering how the other one feels, okay? But not opening up emotionally, um, not maybe yet to the point where you're discussing each other or your feelings to the other person. And it could lead to, yeah, a sense of um, feeling insecure, okay? Or, um, yeah, a feeling of, of feeling insecure, okay? Or somebody here, possibly this person, has had some feelings with maybe um, lower self-esteem, <sighs> insecurity, or um, it looks like somebody here really looks maybe, uh, I don't want to say looks up to the other person, but feels... Um, inspired by them somebody might be uh, at a higher level um, than the other person uh, like monetarily or you know, just um, maybe the other person has just um, you know uh, achieved more okay maybe it's in the uh, like I said uh, career wise okay but it looks like I'm, I'm just feeling like and that could be why I'm seeing the ego card too, all right, um, with gossip. There could just be a lot of talk, okay, a lot of talk, especially if this is a newer um, person, okay, like, you know, what does this person do and how will people see them and, um, you know, getting ego involved, that causing disagreements and, you know, maybe still at a place of because you're not knowing exactly where this connection's going with this person, feeling like, you know, Am I worthy? We're, we're always worthy, right? As long as we feel that in ourselves. Um, but uh, it could just be bringing up feelings of insecurity, okay, right now. Especially if it's in the earlier stages. But uh, let's get into it and see, okay, let's clarify. Now, on the bottom of the deck here, I do have King of Cups, okay? So that is a beautiful energy. Um, somebody's very compassionate and I would say um, mature, okay? They've reached some level of maturity in their emotional state um, with the, uh, okay, with the magician. Well, somebody's definitely manifesting love, okay? Um, but again, okay, it could be, yeah, on a, uh, in a more fun way, okay, a more casual way right now. Um, not not too too serious okay and um, yeah somebody could be in a very transitional state you know having left something else behind maybe when the two of you guys met or um, but you're you're getting to a much better place than where you were okay both of you guys and um, this could this could have started or is moving quickly okay yeah yeah, and, 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 and there's definitely emotions here, okay, with the page of cups, eight of wands. Um, things will start to move here and pick up, okay? There's a lot of curiosity. There's emotions that are kind of brewing and stirring up here um, that are coming out, okay? that Or if they haven't, they will be soon, Aquarius. Um, you're definitely feeling emotions for each other. Um, now, oh, I'm sorry. This person... Um, this person has the two of wands um, in their feelings towards you, Aquarius. So, like I said, I feel like this is, um, 
you guys know each other, okay? Um, but uh, it's newer. It's newer. Um, if this is somebody you guys knew uh, from the past, the relationship never reached full commitment marriage type thing. Um, it's it's stayed at a state of you know possibly dating or um, yeah just like a um, yeah like a more dating. I feel more dating energy here rather than a full on um, commitment marriage kids type of thing. Um, now this is the, the attraction. Okay. This person's feelings towards you. The attraction is confirmed. This person is attracted to you. Definitely. They feel passionate. They feel attracted. Um, this person could be working through some either physical obstacles, possibly distance between the two of you or, and, or some emotional obstacles, like, um, possibly having to make some type of big decisions to be closer to you. Um, or vice versa. Okay. But there's, um, definite, definitely like, um, yeah, if this person is going to, um, facilitate a more, uh, really, uh, what am I trying to say? If this is going to be a, a solid, um, connection between the two of you guys, like, you know, going from dating to, you know, moving in together type of thing, um, or, you know, talking to like we're really boyfriend and girlfriend there's going to be choices that need to, to be made and this person knows that this person's looking out um and contemplating the future what is it going to take to make this happen with aquarius um you know and and, and how how what what actions do i need to take to make that happen with aquarius um, now your feelings towards them, okay, you're feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty good, six of wands. You're feeling confident. You're also confirming the attraction towards this person, Aquarius. You are saying that, well, yes, they make you feel good. Okay, they make you feel um, seen, appreciated, um, and, uh, you know, possibly when you're with this person, when you talk to this person, you feel like... Um, they put you on a pedestal or you put this person on a pedestal, okay? Um, there could be a little bit of ego, okay? I saw that card earlier. Um, these are definitely, with the wands being here, this is a, this is a lot of passion, but this is also um, needing to be careful not to, like I said, let pride get in the way of the emotional, the emotional expression or the emotional connection. Now, this person's, um, they view you, okay, as the ace of discs. So, um, definitely like, uh, this could be something, this could be an opportunity. Okay. This could be, um, a chance to really start something, a chance to renew something, or this could be a new opportunity. Um, and one worth investing in. Okay. One that's very, very important. The one that could really go somewhere. Um, now this person's, uh, their actions and behavior toward you are the knight of discs, okay? So this person, um, they value stability, they value practicality, and um, moving in a particular, at a particular pace, okay? Not moving in, at least so far until I clarify the energies, they're saying they don't wanna rush, okay? Especially with the two of wands. This is, um, they, they definitely feel the passion, okay? They feel the spark, but they need, there's a need to, um, sit back and contemplate the next moves, the next plan of action, okay, with the Knight of Discs. He is a slower moving knight. He doesn't just rush in like the Knight of Wands or the uh, Knight of Swords. He takes his time and uh, moves slowly, but he also moves very, um, with a lot of stability, okay? He is somebody that actually um, does what he says he's going to do. He wants to make sure that he can back it up, okay? so looks good so far. Um, in the shared mutual energy, well, Ace of Cups, okay? So um, there's definitely some, yeah, I mean, you got two Aces, okay? Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So st something new is brewing, okay, between the two of you guys. It's like, who is this love? Can we actually, not only is this love, but is this, we can, can we do this in the 3D, okay? Um, so yeah, I like that so far. And um, um, let's let's get into it, okay? Let's get into it. Um, yeah, Ace of Cups in the mutual. Hmm. That's emotional expression. That's also a deepening, okay? A deepening of love. Um, 
that's um you know deep feelings okay that's love that's um inspiration as well you like the way i said that um, inspiration it's feeling inspired all right um i want to see this person why do they view aquarius in the two of wands energy Why does this person view my beautiful Aquarius in the, oops, oof, these cards, oh man. Why does this person view Aquarius in the Two of Wands? Thank you, thank you. Magician, yeah. This person is um, manifesting, okay, a plan of action. They are trying to figure out exactly, Eight of Pentacles, how to make this work. How can, what steps do I need to take towards my Aquarius to make this work? This person's trying to use all of their power for manifestation and figuring out how to make this come together in the 3D, um, which I like to see that. Okay, and again, to the Two of Wands. This person, um, I feel like maybe, is there a distance between you guys or is there something that's put like some type of obstacle between you guys as to this person needing to figure out, you know, how to work around it. There's some type of a decision that may need to be made between the two of you guys. Um, but this person saying that they're dedicated, okay? They wanna figure it out. They wanna come closer to you with the magician and the eight of pentacles. <clears throat> this is using, um, they want to use their um, their strength, their inner willpower, and their determination to um, to use a focused approach at looking uh, at the the future. This person is contemplating the future, okay, and how to um, to make it work. Mm, yeah. Um, let me see the Ace of Discs. Let me see the Ace of Discs. in the way that this person views Aquarius. Why the Ace of Pentacles for how they view Aquarius? Show me. Thank you. Okay, um, Queen of Swords. <clears throat> wow, to the tower. Okay, that just got spiced up a little bit. To the King of Swords, okay. Hmm, interesting. So, Yeah, was there something that happened here that, um, hmm, it was either a discussion, okay, possibly an argument between the two of you guys that, that was, uh, maybe caused some separation between the two of you guys or needed the, you guys took a, some time apart, okay, the tower, queen of swords, king of swords, and both of you guys, um, now, this is how they're viewing you. So this is a matching energy here, but it's over the tower. This is something that's unexpected, okay? And something that has um, been quite uncomfortable, okay? There's something quite uncomfortable here. Now, if the two of you guys have not been speaking, okay, one of you guys could have offered something to the other one and it, it shook up the connection it was unexpected okay but something here um almost like a peace offering okay if there was some type of peace offering between the two of you guys um but if the two of you guys were not speaking for some time something here came in and shook things up between the two of you guys there like i said there could have been disagreements um and to where the two of you guys actually weren't speaking for a little while, okay? Now, if that's not the case, then this is uh, two people. They're viewing you as someone who has an extremely strong mind, someone who's extremely intelligent, Aquarius. And I'm not surprised to see that in your energy or how this person sees you, um, Aquarius being fixed air, um, you know, the very sharp mind and possibly sharp tongue, okay? or you can have a sharp tongue when you really need to get to the point and you know remove 
you know, detach from your emotions and speak clearly from your mind. And it could have caused um, some type of tower moment, okay, between the two of you guys. Now, but with the Ace of Pentacles here, um, yeah, I want to pull one more card on that because, well, we've got death at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Okay. Nine of Cups to the Page of Wands. Sorry for the pause. It looks like, um, yeah, there was an ending, okay? Or there was some type of a pause between you guys. Now, this makes sense. The Two of Wands and this person's feelings towards you, they may be contemplating how to move things forward, okay? That's what this heavy contemplation is about. And like I said in the beginning, that there could be some distance between you guys. Now this is kind of all coming together. I mean, the Two of Wands, you know, can be um, someone who's pulled back or at a distance and that there has been um, something that was... Uh, slightly lacking in this person as to why they're not completely ready to take action. They're still holding back a little bit. Um, they could be uh, feeling like you're doing this and not completely ready to take action. Something's holding you back and keeping you from, um, you know, moving forward. Okay. Um, yeah, this is um, going through a major transition. Okay. Going through a major change the the two of you or they see you as doing this aquarius you've got the tower the death the five of pentacles five of wands five of cups so something has has gone down between the two of you guys aquarius that has been quite upsetting and 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 left you both i think feeling um separated from each other even if you're not physically separated which some of you that's the case you're feeling emotionally separated now i am getting that you're more physically separated though okay there is a separation here. Now, um, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry for the, I keep pausing. Um, somebody wants to move forward though, okay? Somebody's gonna be coming in because I'm getting several nights here, but they wanna do it slowly and steadily. Um, they don't wanna come in too fast. Um, they want to plant seeds that are stable because something was unstable here. It's like things just sort of came crashing down and it caused, you know, it caused some sadness here. Somebody could be really recognizing that maybe they acted overly emotional and you Aquarius, because of how they're viewing you, look like you, you didn't deal with this in an overly emotional way. You look like you're right now anyways you look like you're um wanting to be pretty clear cut and to the point a little very logical and a bit detached emotionally um, that could be how you dealt with this person or you let them know these are my boundaries okay these are my boundaries this is what i'll stand for and what i won't <sighs> yeah but um let's see i want to see why the knight of discs for this um why the Knight of Discs for this person, their behavior? Thank you. Three of Cups. This person wants to come towards you, okay? They want to lighten up the energy. They want to bring uh, more fun into the connection, okay? Yeah, and they're, um, I think they're waiting. Wow, yeah. They're trying to move the energy out of a place of, um, this person still heavily contemplates um, what happened, okay? This person still heavily contemplates um, the past, okay? Um, what happened between the two of you guys. Um, like I said, if this was a disagreement, argument, um, you know, uh, this person may have let pride get in the way here. Um, this person's still uh, quite emotionally upset. But really, what they really want is to come towards you with the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups and to, to lighten things up, okay, to celebrate again. This person, I think, is remembering or trying to remember um, like the happier times, the more lighthearted times. They're saying that um, 
they want to come towards you and offer support okay they want to be someone of support to you um because somebody here is still i think stuck in um past sadness past regrets um not having seen something for what it was and uh with the eight of wands to the three of wands um I think this is waiting for things to change, okay? And this person has been waiting for things to change. Um, but they see, I think that this person may come towards you when they see the timing is right, okay? Um, they're waiting for the right time. Um, but things, I mean, with the Eight of Wands, this person could have already messaged you, okay? Um, because this is the card of, yeah, text messaging, communication. They could be communicating to you from a distance. Okay. Um, yeah, bottom of the deck. Okay. Yeah. All right, Emperor. So this is making decisions. Um, okay. Remember when I said in the beginning that this relationship um, could either be new in the beginning phases or if this is somebody that you've known okay from the past it never probably went past like uh, a dating or you know what i'm saying it never probably went into maybe marriage and things like that um i am seeing that confirmed now queen of cups the emperor and the six of cups somebody wants to um take uh take the lead from an emotionally somebody still has feelings here okay and i think it's this person um and someone wants to come forward um and uh, tell you those emotions, okay? Tell you how they really feel and why they walked away, Eight of Cups, okay? Why they walked away. And, um, but the Six of Cups is here, okay? So there's still emotions here. This person um, seems to reminisce a lot. They have a lot of nostalgia about this connection and they could just feel like there's unfinished business, okay? With the eight of wands um you know they could also feel very responsible okay like they have a lot of responsibilities you guys please reverse energies as needed this could be your energy but i'm seeing it in this person's energy um this person feels burdened okay and responsible um they feel like it's hard to um <sighs> they feel weighed down okay they feel weighed down and um for whatever happened here between the two of you guys. Yeah. But they want to, um, I think, show you that, uh, you know, they want to change. I want to look at the Six of Wands in your feelings, Aquarius, towards this person. How do you feel? Six of Wands. Please clarify Six of Wands. Show me the Six of Wands for Aquarius. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, five of swords to the king of wands. Well, I mean, you are now showing me that um, it's kind of this energy of, uh, I mean, you're kind of like, well, I'm doing good on my own. Thank you. And, um, you know, you feel like you're not sure that you can trust this person, Aquarius. Okay. This person's done something with the five of swords that has um, upset you, that has made you question, okay, their motives. What are their intentions? With the king of wands here, though, I mean, he's very decisive, okay? He makes, um, he has a plan of action, you see, to the world. Okay, well, so if this was in the past, okay, and you're just, you're questioning whether or not to trust this person, yes, that runs through your mind, absolutely. Um, you know, King of Wands though, the world and the Six of Cups, I think that you've learned some very important lessons here from this person and about yourself, Aquarius. And you also look at them um, with a nostalgic, feeling okay the two of you have shared memories together now not all of them are bad and not all of them are good but you have both you have good and bad memories together this person you're saying you know at times yeah you do draw on very happy memories with them um now you may okay this is like this 
I do feel strongly that this is the past returning Aquarius. Something, someone has come back from the past. I mean, the world with the Six of Cups, that's the past returning. And you are looking at it like, can I trust you? Okay, while you make me feel good, Six of Wands, you make me feel good. And yeah, there's attraction there. Can I, can I trust you? Okay, yeah, to the Nine of Swords. This stresses you out. This person stresses you out, Aquarius. And you could have a tendency to overthink and just get all up in your head and get stressed about them, about this connection to the Nine of Pentacles. You know, I see you coming out of that though, okay? I do see you, thankfully, and I'm happy to see that. I, I see that while this person has the, this connection can stress you out, get you up in your mind, and think about, okay, the past traumas, the, the past things that this connection put you through, five of swords, nine of swords, you are going to come to this beautiful space of remembering who you are, okay? Remembering who you are and coming to a successful, self-assured and confident place. Um, and, you know, possibly, possibly for some of you guys finding confidence in this person, okay? Um, or seeing that this person... Um, is is self-sufficient okay on their own but you're also feeling self-sufficient on your own you, you know it's like you're okay you're actually doing really well i just feel like there's questions here the moon to the ten of cups there's questions not everything yet is known as to can this work out and be happily ever after not yet everything is not everything is yet known between the two of you guys um and i think that that causes a lot of stress a lot of overthinking um, some confusion there may be some repressed emotions here as well like the two of you maybe have not told each other everything like that you want to say and had those tough conversations um, about you know hey you upset me this is how I feel type of thing now I do see that this person I believe that they're gonna come towards you if they haven't already um, you know now you guys have the ace of cups okay in the mutual now let's look at that that will be telling aquarius ace of cups show me the ace of cups in the mutual energy for aquarius thank you and this person aquarius and this person ace of cups show me ace of cups king of cups all right three of swords knight of wands all right, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, okay. Well, somebody thinks that somebody else is, um, would make a wonderful mother, would make a wonderful wife, and Two of Cups, you know, two of you guys both share, uh, emotions for each other but there's some type of uh hmm, there's some type of uh unsure still very unsure okay there's still happiness the ability to be both of you still make each other happy but it's like ooh, you know and can i be sure of this i don't want the past to repeat itself again okay here we've got ace of cups king of cups this is a lot of love between the two of you guys, a lot of love, deep feelings here, um, deep feelings, but with the three of swords, somebody's been hurt, okay? Somebody, both of you, I think, have been hurt. Um, this could be a break in communication. The two of you didn't speak for a while. <sighs> could be third party, okay? This could be third party. I can't say it's not. This is, might be for some of you guys. I am seeing um, a couple threes out on the table, three of cups three of wands, three of swords. So, I mean, I can't rule that out. Okay. I can't rule that out. Um, but with the knight of wands, page of wands, this is a, uh, hmm. This is a bit, uh, well, this could go a couple different ways. Yes, there's love here. There's a lot of love here. There's emotional uh, expression, okay, but there's hurt here. Somebody may have um, 
mistaked, okay, this connection for passion in the past, okay? Somebody may have thought that this was just a fling and treated it that way, uh, and it led to a lot of pa um, sadness and heartbreak, okay? Um, and I don't think that it was until afterwards that uh, the emotions realized that it, that it was more, okay? It was more than... Um, passion and fling, you know, energy. It, it was actually, uh, there were feelings attached to it, okay, for both of you. Um, and, and it could have, you know, yeah, I mean, that could be why I'm seeing, you know, the five of swords here, you know, you may have thought Aquarius that this person was a player or just didn't know what they wanted. Um, you could have wondered how this person really felt okay um and yeah you could have definitely felt like this person had uh, some pride yeah ten of pentacles with the seven of swords okay that's i don't like that energy a whole lot okay that's um being sneaky okay especially compared with or i'm um, especially especially next to the ten of pentacles aquarius so that is um <sighs> just not being completely honest, okay, with the people around you. Um, somebody could um, already be in a relationship, okay, Ten of Pentacles, I hate to say that. Ten of Pentacles to Seven of Swords, um, or someone could have, uh, or been, someone could be needing to leave a commitment, okay, but it's, uh, there, it's, um, yeah, I mean, with the five of swords, just be careful. That's not the best energy. All right, Aquarius. Now that's for some of you guys, and that's probably why I'm seeing the nine of swords to the nine of pentacles um, in your feelings towards this person. Hmm. Let me get a little bit more. Show me the four of wands. Now I do have the four of wands here in the outcome. Okay. But again, on the split, knight of cups to the devil. This person has a tendency, I believe, to uh, probably flirt with everybody that crosses their path, okay? Or just a, uh, the type of person who almost like falls in love with like the next beautiful thing that crosses their path. This is um, misplaced passion, misplaced emotions, okay? Um, let me look at this, but that's why this person is unhappy, okay? That's why they're unhappy. We've got the four of cups and the five of cups and they know, all right? They know that uh, their energy needs to cleaned up, be cleaned up before, you know, they come towards you, uh, you know? And you're in the night, you're in the nine of pentacles energy. You're self-sufficient. You're looking good. You're taking care of yourself. And they know that. I mean, they view you as in the ace of pentacles. So. They know that you're a catch, okay, Aquarius. Um, yeah, I wanna see the Four of Wands. Show me the Four of Wands and the outcome. Hmm. Show me the Four of Wands for Aquarius. The sun. All right, wow. You're going to be dropping uh, the burden of this, okay? You're going to be releasing this. And it may have held you back or held you down or just made you feel stuck for a long time. And you're going to be letting that go, okay? And you're going to be, you got the Four of Wands clarified by the Four of Wands and the Sun. So this is um, either the two of you clean up this relationship like big time or you just you just decide here with the nine of pentacles to the four of wands it's like you hit some type of milestone here you you realize you, what it is that you want and people around you aquarius are going to see the success that you have created for yourself okay because you're going to come into this whole new energy aquarius of like realizing your worth and again, with the nine of pentacles to the sun, this is like, yeah, you're going to feel great. You're going to be very attractive 
and people are going to notice you. You're going to start getting out of letting go of the, these burdens that have been you've been carrying around on your shoulders, and you're going to hit uh, some major milestones here. You may get into a whole new relationship, double four of wands here, and this time it's the right relationship. This time you feel appreciated and um, stable. This feels stable to you, and you have people around you that are um, celebrating you. Wow. Yeah, this is something new, okay? Ace of Wands. Something new is coming in for you guys. And it's got you... You're you're getting rid of this past here. Yeah. And you're saying that it's been a long time, okay? It's been... You've been waiting for this for a long time. And you've achieved this um, success and this stability has not come easy to you with the Hermit. It's taken you... A lot of soul searching and a lot of um you know deep introspection to figure out what it is that you really want and with the ace of wands i mean okay this person's feelings for you no it wasn't the this person um has the two of wands and their feelings for you and you guys you have a lot of aces okay ace of cups ace of pentacles ace of wands there's new there's new coming in definitely renew well renewed energy and new energy um, a lot of success here financial success emotional okay new love um a feeling of inspiration passion again like you know getting out of this um this just not so good feeling okay you're gonna feel like you're surrounded and supported by people who truly love you aquarius who see your value or your worth and you're gonna just feel yeah, just um, so much better. I see a new relationship coming in for you guys, okay? One where you guys feel like this is the right one. And I just see you guys surrounded by a lot of family and friends. And this has been um, this has been a long time coming for you guys, okay? You guys uh, have a lot of experience with this. And uh, you guys have uh, spent time on your own, okay? Really contemplating what it is that you want, and I see it coming in for you guys. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, I'm going to leave it here, Aquarius. Let me know if this resonated for you guys. I'm excited. This is beautiful energy, and let me know in the comments um, how this resonates for you guys, and I will check in with you guys next week. All right, have a beautiful rest of the week, you guys. Take care. Bye.